What is up guys, New Limits here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a leveling guide for the Demon Hunter. Now the Demon Hunter starts with an absolutely amazing set in Season 22 from the Hadrix Gift. It's gonna be the God Demon Hunter. So you wanna get as fast as you possibly can to level 70, and I'm gonna try to help you with that. I'm gonna tell you what steps to follow, what skills to use, and what passives. These guides do take quite a long time to make, so it would be really nice if you could hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing to my channel for more guides in the future. So you want to create a hero, you want to do that in seasonal, but I'm not going to do that right now, but I already created one. Going to go to adventure mode, master, okay, save and close. It's very impo important to save and close because you need to have your... Uh, character saved otherwise if you do the challenge rift before that you cannot use the challenge rift back so it's very important equip the wings doesn't do anything but it's just cool and the pet for the pickup gold then obviously you're gonna do the challenge rift but i already cleared it and once you've cleared that you can start the game all right so once you get in town you want to hire the templar well, you want to get the bow from the scoundrel. Alright, then you want to go here. You can upgrade. Obviously, you're going to get the um, challenge rift back first, of course. I haven't opened it yet. So it's going to look, look like this. You can just click it. It's going to drop a bunch of materials for you. Beautiful. You then train the mystic. You train the blacksmith. And once you did that, you can buy your items, because you get gold. You then go to the merchants, to see if you can get anything. You're focusing mainly on more damage. Healing is actually pretty decent for leveling. Right. Plus damage, let's go. Best thing to just check everything so you have the absolute best. There we go. So once you've done that, you upgrade the weaponsmith, you did everything. You then want to go and look for a bounty. Kill Magda. Don't go for Zultan Cool, only go for Magda. So if you don't find Magda right away, it really doesn't matter. Just keep trying. Kill a Magda. Beautiful. So the reason why you want to be level 5 is because you can craft a hand crossbow when you're level 5. And it's just gonna make the leveling process a little bit easier when you're going to the Halls of Agony. So here you just want to keep running. Don't get bothered by all the enemies. You can get a shrine here. To be honest, in Season 22 with the Shadow Clones, I wouldn't actually even press it. Because... They, uh, the the clone might kill stuff and you get level 2 and you really don't need to get to level 2. So I wouldn't actually click it. Alright, so we go to Magda. Let's go. Now what you want to do here is you want to create a massacre bonus for yourself. It's going to give you one extra level. So you want to hit her, but don't hit her too much, just till she spawns, yeah, and then you stop. You want them to transform, alright, and then you hit them. Try not to hit Magda. Let's go, so you're just gonna kite them out. So you have to be careful your hungering arrow, uh, this one, hungering arrow can actually hit Magda too. So it doesn't really matter if you hit her a few times, but as you can see, she already took a, re a big amount of damage. So you have to be aware of that. So let's be careful here, let's go. Once you see the massacre bonus, you can kill her. Because it's gonna give you a little bit extra EXP that you need. There you go. So I'm just gonna make sure to go to like 20 to be sure. But you should be fine. 
All right, let's just let's kill her. Let's go. So you see, you get an extra level. You can stop at level at at 15 kills, but I prefer to go to like 20, just to be sure. If you've done that, you can collect it, check if it's better. If it's not, just go back. Definitely change your skill to rapid fire, it's way better. Then you want to uh, go to highest usable, hand crossbow, craft it. It's gonna be a really nice increase of damage. Now very important, we started in act 2. So the merchants are actually still at level 1. If we now go to a different town, and that is what you always should do, you're gonna find better gear. It's really important to do that, so now you can get shoes, you can get a belt. That is something that you previously couldn't get. So there we go, you just wanna check it out. And what you actually wanna do, is get another hand crossbow. You can have two, you can dual wield. So you want two. Let's go. Ah, voila. So you get a little bit more damage. What you then want to do is go to Halls of Agony. I try to do it on Torment, but it's not worth it. Unfortunately. So you want to clear this. Till you get to level 10. And then you can buy rings and amulets. Which is gonna make it a lot a lot easier to go to the runes of Seshron. And also at level 9 you will get Vault. Which is gonna increase your mobility by quite a lot. Which is also gonna make it a lot easier for you. So you should have enough damage to do this pretty decently. Just try to focus on a massacre bonus as much as you can. I feel more powerful. Okay, so once you get to level 10. You just want to leave, it doesn't even matter if you can keep on going, just, you know, just stop and go back. Beautiful. So once you get to level 10, I'm gonna show you what I meant earlier with the merchants. So you're gonna see that there's just no rings here, so you can't purchase them. So you have to go to a town where you haven't been yet. So we've already been in, in 1 and in Act 2, so we need to go to Act 3 or 5. So 3 and 4 is the same, so it doesn't really matter. And you're gonna see that you can purchase rings here. That's really important. Got some new so what if some of my goods see? Come from so you can buy them. We have damage here that is beautiful. These ones are not good enough. So you really want to focus on dexterity or damage. Alright, we're gonna check what we can get. Well, this one is actually better. Well, it has fire skill, intelligence. We don't have anything with fire, so that is not useful. There we go, I actually didn't check here. Can we get some more damage? Please. So this is really important that you do this. Might feel like a waste of time, but it's incredibly useful. So then you come here, you want to change your... Um, your weapons. Gonna buy two again. You can also buy a bow. But that's not gonna be stronger. You see? You lose damage. So you always want to go with the highest one that you can purchase. Alright, so once you've done that, you definitely don't want to forget your passive. 
We will go with tactical advantage for now, just because we can move faster. Gonna go for vault. Hungering arrow for now. And rapid fire is better than impale. In my opinion. So once you've done that, you go to the ruins of Seshron. Alright. And now you just want to go as fast as you possibly can. Through the first area, because the first area is really not that great. Let's go. You see that you have the damage for it, so... That's definitely fine. So you want to make sure that, of course, you keep your Massacre bonus. Not enough hatred. So you can use these um, traps to kill the enemies with. So if you can kite them around a little bit, they will actually kill them for you, which is useful. Alright, so once you get to Elder Sanctum, a boom, we're level 13, that is beautiful. You definitely want to use Chakram. It is absolutely amazing. Bolas are also better. And then I would actually go for preparation here. And your passive is still the same. And then you go back to town. Because in this zone in Elder Sanctum, you can actually get an incredibly amount of massacre bonuses. I mean, I've had a massacre bonus of like 400 kills. So you definitely want to be ready for that. So again, you want to go to highest usable. You just see what you can have. Of course, you want to focus on a bow, of course. So 12, we can, we can do this one. So we're gonna do that. And we don't actually have a damage increase, so that is fine. But it's better to check, of course. Um, what you then want to do is you want to actually go to the other town where you haven't been. Why? Because we still need these ones. I'm just gonna purchase one now because I don't want to leave, of course. There we go. Wish I could go fight. Uh, we can check here if we want something better. This might actually give us give us more damage now. Seven one three six and seven. Yep, that gives us more damage. Let's go. You just want to make sure that at Elder Sanctum you just stop, so you can definitely get the Shakram because it's absolutely absolutely gonna be amazing all right so now i'm gonna try to show you but you can get an insane massacre bonus here and because we kept our damage up we actually deal a really good amount of damage and of course i didn't see anyone the key oh i actually kept the massacre bonus up that's very nice Alright, and now you, what you just want to do is kite them back and just make sure that you keep your massacre. But as you can see, it goes very fast now. This is a really nice zone. So I'm not gonna show everything, but you know what I mean. So as you can see you can you're really able to get a really nice massacre bonus going. And the cursed chest event that we're gonna get, you can actually get that one quite often. 
I think in my previous uh, video that I made with the Necromancer, I also got it. And it wasn't even a bounty. But as you can see, we're already at 300. So we're gonna get an, a massive EXP boost when this is done. And it's just so important to go back and get all your damage in. Buy all your stuff. Craft all your stuff that you need. So you're able to just wipe everything. Ah, uh, this is going great. Right, so we still want to keep it up as much as we can. Go. Alright, so I think we're kind of done here. And how much? Bam, we're level 20. So now we go back and what you first want to do is you want to create a new game. So you just leave because you got the cube. What you then want to do is go to game settings and you want to put it way higher. So you just start at torment 6 and we'll see what we can clear. So what you're going to do is go here to a dagger, a level 70 dagger. You want to craft it. Then you walk to the cube and you are going to ref um, upgrade rare item, Hope of Cain, the third recipe. So you're going to put it in, you're going to fill it, going to transmute it, and boom. So you have two daggers that you can get. You're actually pretty lucky with a demon hunter, you always have a multiplier, which is very nice. So you can either have this one right here, so the Carlay's point which makes your impale deal increased damage so it can go up to from 300 to 375 so we're a, a bit uh, unlucky here and it returns 15 hatred if it hits an enemy already impaled so this is uh, one that you can get you can also get this one so lord greenstone's fan every second gain 400 percent increased damage for your next fan of knives it stacks up to 30 times so it's one of these two uh, I'm gonna show you right away what skills you want to use and what passives you want to use with either one of them. I'm gonna show you the compositions for them. If you get Lord Greenstone's fan, what you want to do is you want to go for the Wraps of Clarity first. So those are bracers. What they're gonna do is when you use a Hatred Generator, they're gonna reduce your damage. So damage, damage mitigation is very important if you want to go uh, really high in the torments because otherwise you're just gonna die right away you can also go for the hellcat waste guards but for me i don't think it's um i think i don't think it's worth it because you can also get a gold wrap and a vigilant belt the problem is with the shards that you have you probably are gonna get two to three legendaries maximum and you only have a one in three chance to get a hellcat waste guard don't forget that also with the season uh, season 22 you will be getting the shadow clones if you hit a pylon and how those shadow clones work is you get more damage the more legendaries you have or the higher your sheet dps is so if you can have two or three uh, equipped your, your clones also gonna do more damage so the damage mitigation you definitely need it so i would definitely go for that one you can still decide if you got this one that you can try to get the Hellcat Waste Guard. It is a very nice multiplier and it's definitely gonna help you. Um, but you can definitely try. So go for the Reps of Clarity, then go for the Hellcat Waste Guard, maybe get Gold Rep, maybe get Vigilant Belt, but it's still, still a legendary, but it's not really gonna do you much. Uh, otherwise, you can go for the Pants. Uh, it's still gonna give you a very nice damage, 450 to 550% weapon damage is actually quite a lot. And also, when you die, sometimes they can act, this pants can actually keep your massacre bonus up. So that's also very, very useful. 
if you got the car lace point like we did, you have two options. Or you first go for the reps of clarity. And once you get the reps of clarity, you can try to go. And I'll show you right away. Quiver, where is it? To go for the holy point shot. Now, if you get this, it would be absolutely amazing. It's gonna be a breeze from there on, and you're gonna clear everything really fast. It's really good. But the problem with this is you have a one in four chance, and the other ones are really not that great. I mean, Shakram now generates three to four hatred. Okay, you can use it, but it's not great. Sin Seeker, Rapid Fire no longer has a channel cost and deals 250 to 300 increased damage. Also gives you something. The Holy Point is really what you want, and Fletcher is completely useless, so you don't really want that one. But that is a, a, an option. So you can either choose to keep all of your shards, and at level 31, you go for Quivers and hope to get a Holy Point shot, or at least, you know, something else that you can use. And you don't go for the bracers first, or you first go for the bracers to get that damage mitigation so you can, you know, clear higher. And you already have a damage multiplier with Carlay's Point or with Lord Greenstones, or you just go for um, this one right away. So it, it is really up to you, it is your choice. So don't forget to check the merchants again. My people have been lost, scattered to the winds. But I will survive. You're trying to search for as much damage as you possibly can. Don't forget to craft the highest usable weapon. So you have this one right here, your level 20, so 19 is great. That's normally going to be a damage increase. And you can also get Quivers, which is also really nice. Boom. So don't forget to do that, it is really important. Now what is also really important, as you can see, we have a lot of different levels on our gear. We have level 10, level 13, level 4, 14, 4, 15... What you want to do is try to get those required levels as high possible to where you are. So for example, the belt is on only level 4. So what you want to do is make a belt. So go highest usable, 19. And that's pretty much always guaranteed gonna be better. Like right away. So that is also a way that you can make yourself stronger. Alright, now I'm gonna show you guys the skills. Right now, this is on my level 70 character that I leveled. I did a test already with this. But I just wanna show you guys the skills that you want to use uh, when leveling. So, when you get the car lace point, what you wanna do is... You want to go for Impale, of course, with Over Penetration. Over Penetration is by far the best rune you can use because it can hit... A lot more enemies so the knife pierces through all enemies otherwise you will not have any aoe and it's actually not gonna be great so over penetration is the absolute best choice here then what i like to go for is uh, evasive fighter hardened because it increases your armor with 25 percent for three seconds so it's just gonna give you more toughness when you're trying to clear torment 6 or torment 5 or you know as high as you possibly can sometimes it's gonna be really difficult to survive and don't think that any of your other abilities are gonna do any kind of damage because you're just completely relying on your extra damage uh, the damage multiplier that you got from your uh, legendary so the rest is not gonna do any damage so it is better to just go for pure toughness so you can survive so Hardened, if you notice that you are having problems with your Hatred, then you can go for Focus, or with the Bolas, you can go for Thunderball. So that is also, but I think Hardened is actually the best choice. Then for your A skill, I um, or you know, it's probably Q for you. You can go for Preparation Punishment, it's just gonna give you Hatred back, 
which is very useful because sometimes you will run out and you can just replenish that. You obviously want to go for Vault Tumble. It's by far the best rune because you just use uh, less discipline. So you definitely want that one. Then you want to go for Fan of Knives. Some viable options could be Sentry, but I don't really particularly like it. And Spike Trap is also a, a very good skill. So you could use Spike Trap or Sentry, but I like Fan of Knives and I just go Bladed Armor. Because again, it just gives you 40% additional armor, so you just get more and more tanky. If you combine that with the Hardened, 25% more. You get this one, it's 40% more. Um, and also I have the Boar Companion. So summon a Boar Companion that attacks enemies for 50%. That doesn't really, that's not important. But the Boar increases you and your party's life regeneration and resistances to all elements. So again, you just get more damage uh, mitigation. So you're just getting more and more tanky. Then for the passives, I would go for Perfectionist. Again, increase your armor res resistances to all damage types by 10%. Then I would go for Thrill of the Hunt. Enemies hit by your Hatred Spenders are slowed. And if you use that in combination with Numbing Traps, enemies use Slow, Shield or Hit with Fan of Knives. Um, spike Traps, Call Traps, Grenades and Sentry Fire have their damage reduced by 25%. So if you count everything up, you are becoming quite tanky actually. Now what you can also do is um, get rid of the numbing traps. You can go for Cold Weak, which gives you more damage. That is also a possibility. And what you can also do if you want to be a lot faster is you can, you know, use Tactical Advantage, which is going to give you 60% more movement speed, which is really nice. And you can also use Hot Pursuit in combination with this one which is going to make you super speedy. So it is kind of up to you if you feel like you're tanky enough. You can play around with it, you can get a little bit more damage, you can get some more movement speed, but that is your choice. This is the safest um, option that you can go, and I just like to run that one, but you can choose. It's, it's really up to you. Now, if you get the other one... So right now we were talking about uh, if you got Carly's Point... Now, if you got Lord Greenstone's fan, honestly, I don't really change much. I would just don't use the Impale. I would go for the Chakram, Twin Chakram. And for the rest, it's basically the same, to be honest. So if you're playing with Lord Greenstone, you're gonna see here, Fan of Knife, increased Fan of Knife's damage. So you want to get it as high as you possibly can. We're not gonna use Impale, we're gonna use the Chakram. And basically what the playstyle is here is you're just gonna run around. You're gonna throw around your twin chakrams. Everything's getting slowed so your damage is getting reduced as well. And when things are getting close together you just go and you pop it. And it's just gonna get absolutely destroyed. And that's basically how you want to play it. So you want to try to get as much stuff together as you possibly can and then you just pop it and that's what you do so you just try to go to tournament 6 you try to get everything together and once everything is together you pop it you don't want to pop this too fast because otherwise it's not gonna kill because it does do more damage the more stacks you have so you want to keep that in mind but that's the playstyle. And it's popped. It's really strong. Alright, so you're not gonna get your skills right away when you're leveling. So as long as um, you don't have the overpenetration rune, if you got the Carlace point of course, um, you don't really want to push too high because your AoE damage is like pretty much non-existent. So you're not gonna deal that much damage. You have a lot of single target damage but not really any AoE. And it's going to be absolutely useless. So you still want to wait till you get the overpenetration rune to really try and push your uh, torments as high as you can. Temple of the Firstborn level 1 is the best one for leveling. But it, it is also viable to go to the runes of Sisharon. And go to this one right here. Eternal Woods. 
You can actually get some really nice massacre bonuses as well. You can go to Halls of Agony or you can go to the Fields of Misery. Those are all areas that you can actually have some really nice clears. This is really important. So what you want to do is you want to craft a level 70 weapon. So you go here, required level 70. And what you're going to notice is right at the bottom you have maximum discipline. Now because the maximum discipline is there, it's going to be really difficult for you to get the level requirement reduced. It's going to be really difficult because it always rolls with maximum discipline. It always rolls with maximum discipline. So it's actually really bad. What you can do to not have that problem is you're going to create a Witch Doctor. There you go. Just a level 1, doesn't matter. Start game. Alright, so if you have these ones, as you can see, you don't have the percent uh, chance. Here you have 3.3% chance to shill. Here you don't have that. Because you don't have it rolled here, every option that you can reroll to level requirement reduced is going to have a lot of options. You don't have the resources to roll this many times, so you don't want this. If you get a weapon like this, you cannot do anything with it, just craft a new one. This one, on the other hand, has the chance to chill. So if you go to the other one, life after each kill, you can re-roll that one and you have way more chance to get it. So we're just gonna try to re-roll it and see if we can get it. Now what you wanna do in the season, don't roll too many times. If you roll six times, you, it's better to craft a new one. So then you just want to re-roll it. We have eight. It's kind of a big rip. And we got 26. Let's go. So this would be an absolutely amazing one. Then you just stash it. You leave the game. And then you can just pick it up. And you have it. What you can do with that weapon. Is you can transmog it. You can transmog it. And basically what that does is if you transmog it, it shows a little icon here. If you salvage everything, it's not going to go away. If you don't do that and you just have it in your stash and you want to and you do salvage all, everything's going to disappear and this is also going to go away. So if you transmog it, it's not going to go away. Like I say in uh, step 17, just really try to keep your armor updated throughout the leveling process so you're just gonna try to level your character make sure that you uh, keep your armor updated it's really important at level 50 and at level 61 that you try to keep your armor on that level because um, everything's gonna outscale really hard if you don't and then you basically have another step which is completely optional. You can just keep on going for the massacre bonus and just clear out the Temple of the Firstborn or the other areas that I just said. Or you can start doing bounties once you get to the level 60s because you can still get massacre bonuses. You can do the bounties which obviously give you a little bit of EXP too. Uh, but for the seasonal journey you have to clear all the bounty bags you have to uh, get a bounty bag from act one act two so you can already do those which makes your uh, seasonal journey just a little bit easier so that is completely optional you can do that and what you also can do you can see you have a socket here you can sometimes have a socket for your weapon as well and as you can see normally you wouldn't have this one of course but um in the helm you have plus 41% experience, for this one it's 33. Um, so you put that in the in your helmet and you actually just have a really nice increase in experience. And if you put it in your weapon you gain a lot more damage. So you really want to focus on the red gems for the leveling process. If you have one, put it in your helm or put it in your 
uh, weapon, it's really gonna give you a really nice damage increase. So I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more guides in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye.